Hey everyone, Nancy Taylor here. Welcome, welcome to your leg workout today. We are doing strength training today. No squats, no lunges, and we're at the lake. Don't you like? Do you like me in here? Me too. Let's get you warmed up and then we'll get right into the workout. We're just gonna start with a simple march in place. Marchy, marchy, marchy. I'm loving, loving, loving being outside. Taking you guys outside. Did you enjoy our outside workout with all my kids? If you're doing our 12 week program, we had all the kids at the pickleball court the other day. That was exciting. Left leg kick forward, right leg kick forward, then kick back, then kick back. Now when you're kicking, boom, I start with a bent knee, bent knee. And uh, I wanna make sure I have all four corners of my feet spread for stability. So kick, 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 and kick. Now, no lunges, no squats. Why do we have this workout? Because Sometimes our knees are hurting or maybe you, you feel like you always have to modify on those exercises. I want you to go through this workout and be like, I was able to do each of them because there was no squats or lunges. Now, if you're saying I can do those, is this workout a good fit for me? Yes, we're gonna work hard today. We're working those legs. We're gonna target glutes, quads, hamstrings, and calves. So a, a total leg workout. Now in the leg workout, when we're not doing, why do we always, we, not always, but typically we do a lot of squats and lunges just because they target all those muscles. <laughs> That's what's so awesome. Other than, I mean calves a little bit, but we usually will add in some calf raises, but squats and lunges are just great for all of it, you know? So we get a little creative. There are so many options out there. I always like to follow a coach because it helps you to not have to think. You just show up. It's all there done for you. That's what I wanna be for you. I wanna be the, the creator, the one that creates the program, has it here for you. You show up and you learn. Learn as you go so you can execute and be your own personal coach. Okay, you're gonna take these kicks to the side. So kick, it's a side kick. So I bring me up and to the side. Swing, pump, swing, okay? Now you take a little balance. I wanna turn that heel a little bit towards that leg. So I, I know I'm doing it slow, so it's kind of hard to balance. Kick, 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 woo! Kick, side, side. I can hear the boaters cheering. Like, they sound like they're having the time of their life out there surfing. Anyone have been on those boats where you surf behind them? I think it's so fun. So fun, good. That's it, three. Last two got a surprise next week. I'm not gonna tell you guys. Something to look forward to. You just gotta wait and see what it is, okay? Okay, march back in place. We're gonna take that left leg. You're gonna hold it here, extend, control it down. Hold it, control, core is connected, shoulders above my hips. Working, warming up hip flexors. I better start our time, not sure. What are times at? No. Okay, other side. Sorry guys. Just gotta get my watch to cooperate and by that I mean my own brain. Extend. Here we go. <laughs> I was clicking on the wrong kind of workouts. I do like to see my heart rate, but just remember when you're doing strength training, your watch isn't gonna show a ton of calories burned. It's not going to show like, wow, you burned all these calories today. You can eat more food. It truly, it's, you're burning calories later on as you're building that muscle. You're boosting your metabolism because your, your strength, the, your muscles need that fuel. Also, cardio is great. Cardio is going to be what moves nutrients through our bloodstream, it moves it through our body, gets it to the places that need it. Caterpillar walk out. If it bothers your wrist to walk out in a caterpillar walk, do it against the wall and then back, okay? So you can get kind of that downward dog kind of stretch, walking against the wall here and then come back up and roll. So I'm keeping my leg straight to get that nice stretch. Here, walk it out, high, and then bring it back. Good, all the way up to the top. Good, take it out, that's it. Good, what a beautiful day. I love the summertime. I hope you're loving it as well. Left leg, tug, tug. Um, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching and I do it in the mornings. 
And so coaching today, I mean, we coach from all over the US. I have some, there's some that I coach that are outside the US, which is so fun. So I know we're coming from all different climates, all different areas. I love bringing Utah to you. <laughs> I love taking you just out my back door, quad stretch, tug, tug for two, tug, tug for two on the right. Good. Any guesses what the surprise is next week? <sighs> Put it in the comments. Let us know, what do you think? What do you think the surprise is? It's to do with workouts too. It's not like, I'm pregnant. No, that's not, <laughs> that's not what it is. <laughs> you know, those announcements, that's not what it is. I think that Dave would fall to the floor. What? <laughs> we, we were just talking, we're like, man, three, like we were thinking of any task we do, we take our three littles and it's just like a lot of energy expenditure. Shake out those arms, march in place or jog. I'm gonna take it here, just like kind of a chill jog, get that blood flowing. <laughs> we're like, it is a lot of effort. They are young, six-year-old, four-year-old, one-year-old. And it's a great opportunity to teach them how to act at a restaurant, how to act. <laughs> but you leave and you're like, I'm really tired <laughs> and we were just thinking like how would you do that with one more and I know that you just would you just would so many of you are like I have six kids I have a friend that has eight um, and there are neighbor used to have nine and it truly was just different parenting styles they were like super easy going super chill and their their kids were like so independent I loved it I was like how in the world do you have them so well trained <laughs> and you know you just do your best with what you got you always learn being a parent has probably been my greatest teacher. Seriously, greatest teacher. All right, doesn't mean that you have to be a parent to learn those skills, absolutely not. Just for my personal journey, it's taught me a lot. High five, guys. And we're getting started. Grab your heavy dumbbells, heaviest dumbbells you have. We're doing deadlifts, so you really do want some heady, heavy dumbbells. Heady, heavy, heavy, heavy. Okay, feet about shoulder width apart. We're going down. Now, similar format to yesterday. If you're following us in our 12-week program, we had five exercises in that first block. We did each one, actually, I think we had four, four or five. We did each one three times through. So it's 60 seconds on, 30 second rest, okay? We repeat back to back so that we can really get an overload on that specific muscle group that we're working, okay? That's it, up. I'm not over tucking at the top, just nice small tuck at the top. So I control, control, control. Now notice on your back, you're not hunching, you're not arching. It's really pulling the core, 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 and up, good, down, and up. Okay, put those weights down, working the back of those legs. Now, as we go into this deadlift again, we are doing quite a few different deadlift variations. I want you to think as you hit this bottom, hold and then slow, 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 slow all the way back. Core is connected. I'm that slow motion coming back up. I'm fighting gravity. I have the dumbbells in my hands. It's, that's where we're really working to strengthen. It's not just going through the motions. It's a slow and controlled. Pause, slow, slow. Good, take about three seconds to make it back up to your standing position. Okay, then slow down. But the big part's right there. Woo-hoo! Good. Okay, take it down. See how many reps you can get. Start counting your reps today. Just see how many you get because you're doing three repeats. So it's not racing on reps. We just kind of want to have a similar amount of reps each time. Also, it allows us to think as we're going good I'm there at five good tummy pulled in you could do this without dumbbells as you really think of those muscles you're working good one more one more one more all the way up 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 good 
Nice. Now notice when I lift up my weights, when I pick them up, I'm not just bending over. You could do your whole workout with perfect form and then picking up your weights. You're like, I threw out my back. Have you ever like picked up your child different or boosted them up on something and tweaked your back? Me too. And so practicing these movements, they're functional training. How I pick up my dumbbells is how I pick up my child. Just carry those over into your day to day. So notice I squat down to get them. Oh, no squats today. <laughs> ah, I couldn't not squat, could I? It just is always there. It's, I seriously had to think really hard. I'm like, okay, how am I gonna target that without squats? And I want you to use the equipment that you have at home. Don't want you to feel like you have to go buy all this equipment. It's just simple dumbbells. We use mini bands. If you have a mini band, um, you can add it for resistance on the mat work we're doing today, but you don't have to. Just gonna add. So in this entire 12 week program, the equipment we use is dumbbells, mini band. There's one workout where I have a larger band with a jump rope, but you could do it with dumbbells and with an imaginary jump rope. But seriously, that's all the equipment. You really don't need a ton of stuff to see big results. The biggest thing is showing up consistently. It's a habit, it's a lifestyle. As you build that habit, then we get to have fun with your, with your workout routine, with the weights that you're picking up, as we get to increase those, as the hit intervals, you're able to maintain high intensity for a longer period of time. Holy cow. Okay, last round. Down, 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 down. Pause, lift, 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 lift. Good. Down, 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 down. Can you guys hear that in my microphone? <laughs> a speedboat. Don't wanna be in the water where they are. They're just cruising. Good. You got this. Now with the strength training workouts, a question that might come up is, do I need to go for a run or jog or do I need to do cardio that day? Um, cardio is throughout our week. I plan it on Mondays. We do our HIIT training on Mondays. On our Fridays, we have our 20 moves in 20 minutes, which is cardio. And then I also do cardio burst. Um, and today we will have a little bit of a, a leg. It might tap into cardio. Usually when you're doing three sets, your heart rate starts to get up. But something that you can add into your day is going for a walk. Maybe you're a runner and you're like, I wanna go for a run. Yes, you can add that into your week. It's so, so great to have that movement, to get those steps. It's just something beautiful to do for your body. Don't feel like it has to be all out race speed. I have to run, go for a walk, go before the sun comes up, go in the evening with the kids. It's something that I've loved to do is just getting out and walking. Just go for it. Um, you can incorporate cardio that way. Or it could be something simple like you went grocery shopping and you were walking all over. But um, next exercise. So we're doing a single leg deadlift. Gonna work that glute and um, also working that balance. So I'm gonna take my left leg, um, slightly bent, and I have one dumbbell. I come down and then as I come up, like you can tap, but I also want that knee drive. So working that hip flexor, also engaging that core. So find a focal point on the floor in the distance. Now notice with the weights, I do a small, just kind of slight little, little curl, tiny curl, tiny curl right there. Good. That's it. Woo. Sometimes I have to tap. Good. Just burning out that leg. So you're going to feel this in the hamstrings. You're going to feel this in your glutes. If you're like, where are those? Glutes are your buns, hamstrings here. And glutes, there's two muscles there. We always think it's one. We gotta target both of them. Ee, ee, ee. Okay, 30 second rest. We're gonna switch over to the other side. And then on the third round, we're gonna switch halfway through. Except for, I don't know if I can see halfway through. Can I? Kind of. That's as bright as it goes. 10. Nine, I hid my phone in the trees. Five seconds. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? Same leg again. Same leg, I'm not gonna do three rounds. We're gonna do two on one leg. 
and two on the other. So then we can get the whoo, full burn. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. Tap, bring it up. Good. Last time you're gonna do it on this foot. Keep going. Control, control, control. Find that focal point. You can hold on to a railing or hold on to something. How are you guys feeling as you're going through this series? Are you feeling stronger? I want you to be proud of yourself for showing up as you commit to your daily workouts. Let's say that you didn't do them for a week or you were out of town or just it's been crazy the last week or whatever, whatever's come your way. Stick to the mom, the person that you wanna be. If I wanna be active, if I wanna be energized, those words I speak to myself, I'm athletic. I have good energy, those kind of words. And then I'm going to make decisions based off of that. If I wanna be energized, I need to get to bed on time. That's something that's really hard for me in the summer, really hard. I just wanna play all day. But then I get up at 6 a.m. and then I'm like, oh, why didn't I go to bed earlier? Because I'm not energized during the day. I make that mistake over and over, I have to reteach myself. Okay, where's that bedtime? So make sure that you're analyzing, improving, but we're not going for perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, down, up, good. Big on mindset, um, something that has helped me is seriously listening and reading books. I remember listening to Tony Robbins and people would ask him like, where did you learn all this? How did you do it? And he said, reading books. He started his business and um, motivational speaking and like talking about habits and he all started it, he said, by repeating what other people were teaching. I would read about their stuff, liked it, I would repeat it in my own words or in their way or paraphrase or, but until he created his own formula, his own program, he really was teaching other people's stuff. And that's so true. You teach their stuff and then you figure out what works for you. You tweak things a bit and you make them your own. Nah. But are you listening to positive content? Are you feeling like your brain is a gateway for this positive content? Are you allowing in and consistently allowing in that positive content? I'm a big fan of Audible books and I wanna create a video. I have a list of videos I wanna make for you guys. And one of them is my favorite mindset books. I'll, I'll tell you a couple of them right here if you wanna write them down. We're about to go on that same leg one more time. Right leg, single leg, deadlift. Down, extend, knee drives up. Good. Down. Now, for the books, I started with The Power of Positive Thinking. It is a Christian, I believe he's a pastor that wrote it. So it is a Christian book. He does refer to God. Um, so maybe that will be a perfect fit for you, or maybe not. But in the teachings, I love how he talks about how we're always kind of hurried to go somewhere, or he's feeling like, I gotta go somewhere. And this busyness that we wear, kind of like, I get so much done in the day. It's kind of our culture and all the things you can accomplish. And he said, I paused. I was like, it doesn't matter if I miss the speaking engagement. It doesn't like, I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna take my time putting on my shoes. And just in that moment, he had to acknowledge, I'm feeling rushed, I'm feeling sped up and slowed down. I really like that book, The Power of Positive Thinking. I'm trying to think who the author is. He's an older guy. It's been, I think the book's been around for a while. So if you're like, he's an older guy, he's my age. <laughs> I just mean that the book has been around for like years and years and years. <laughs> it's a good one, an oldie but a goodie. Okay, calf raises, grab those heavy dumbbells. We're going calf raises. Yeah, ready? Three rounds of calf raises. Now, if you have like a stair close by, go on a stair so your heels hang off the stair. You're gonna get a larger, larger range of motion. I'm gonna go this way. So I'm going a slightly downhill, up and down, up and down. Now, the second book that I got into, so I've listened to these on Audible, got way into mindset this past year. And the second book was, and I, the, uh, these next two that I'm gonna refer to, I learned from um, Tessa Romero. She teaches um, positive mindset for mothers. You can find her on Instagram. She has really encouraging reels. 
Um, I just fell in love with her content and I took her course, loved it. And I asked like, what books did you read to create this program? So the first one was The Power of Now. And that one talks about being present in the moment. The second one was Loving What Is. It talks about like four questions to ask yourself. I'm sure I've talked about these. When you have a thought like I'm always late, you ask yourself, is it true? The second question is, can I know for sure that it is true? No, there's nothing certain. For, oh, I'm not always late, sometimes I'm on time. The third question is, who would I be without this thought? So I would feel like free and like, oh, I have the freedom to choose to be on time or not. And the fourth question is, what's keeping you from dropping that thought? Like what's keeping you from letting it go if it's not serving you? So she has like surface level, level kind of questioning to like really deep stuff that um, can really, really transform someone, like really big events maybe that happened in someone's life that were traumatic or, or big. So she does coaching on that, Loving What Is by Katie Byron. And those ones were awesome. I got way into, last one I'll tell you guys, Brene Brown. If you haven't listened to her stuff, I love her Audible book. She reads them really well. And um, seriously, I listen to this content and then that's when I, when I come and coach in here. I feel like our workouts are not only the workouts, like the fitness side, but also the mindset. I'm like, if I can deliver a mindset message for all the moms at home, for all the women at home, I've done my job. I feel proud and happy with, with how we've done our workouts because it's so much more than just the movement alone. So I started with her Daring Greatly. That one's really good. And then I'm now listening to Rising Strong. That's the second one that I'm listening to in that order. And I also listen to, oh, something of the heart. Um, what's the word? It starts with like an A. Um, oh, it's gonna bug me. I'm gonna have to look on my phone. Darn it, what is this? It was her newest book. She goes over emotions and all like 70 different words of human emotions and it's just really interesting how she talks about them anger like goes through them and and kind of techniques and, and stories and so it's really helpful just to to relate to all that she's got a really good pulse on the human being and specifically i feel like she knows women's minds i really like her stuff good now i think you grab for those things when there's a certain time in your life that you need them i was it was in 2020, I had like this big, maybe you know, maybe you don't, but I was teaching online. I had, it was a moment when my contract was terminated. I was all in, like I like could have worn a mascot for this company and like been their number one fan. So I was crushed. I was beyond crushed when this happened. And I remember someone referred me to Brene Brown. They're like, listen to this podcast. She talks about shame and she talks about vulnerability. And I just was not in the headspace to accept, like, it felt like so many people were telling me, read this book, check this out. And so, yes, that did come on my radar at that time, but I didn't listen to it because I, like, was just so overwhelmed with so many people <laughs> recommending stuff that um, it wasn't until later that I came back across her stuff that I was like, wow, oh, this is the timing that I needed this. I'm now there mentally um, because at that moment, I actually referred to the Bible. I was like, I need this. I referred to the scriptures, talks that were given, and I found my answer there. I found peace with the whole situation, with myself, with my identity, with who I am. And then I was able to start back to these recommended books and really choose because I was in a healthier spot mentally. Whereas before I was feeling very vulnerable. I was feeling, feeling very lost because such a big part of my identity was that online teacher was just gone. It was just gone and like really gone. <laughs> ah, that is hot. Okay. Now we're going down to the mat guys. Okay. We're going to go for some quad work. So I'm going to just double up my mat here. I'm gonna hold that heavier dumbbell. So you're gonna go back. We're going five exercises here. So I come here, I'm gonna come back and then come on up. Okay, come back, come on up. So I sit those hips back. Now, if this bothers your knees, because I know that we're not lunging, we're not squatting. If this bothers your knees, another option that you have is to sit on a chair and this leg's down, extend this leg. Okay, yes, you can put a weight here if you want. I mean, you can have resistance or you can have a band, but you can do this sitting on a chair, extend this leg, working your quad. 
okay? So I'm gonna do this one one more time. We're gonna go through this second portion two times through. So you have a 30 second rest. Then we're gonna do that quad work again. Okay, so holding the dumbbell hill here, but I understand if you're avoiding squats and lunges, this might hurt to extend your knee this way and also to be kneeling on your knees. So sit in a chair, extend one leg at a time. We're doing this two times, so if you did your left leg on the last round, do your right one this time. If you miss the cue, time yourself for 60 seconds, 60 on the left, 60 on the right, okay? Let's do it. This is round number two of 60 seconds. Working those quads, good. I should lay my shoes flat. Don't want to get them dirty. What's more important, my form or the cleanliness of my shoes? They're new. I keep them clean. Just kidding. Good. That's it. Back. You see that sweet spot there? Kind of right there in the middle, 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 middle. Slow, slow, slow. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah there she is. Woo! Come on. Dinga, 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 dinga. Yep, yep, yep. I feel it. That's it, that's it. Woof. Come on. We're in this together. Keep going, guys. Oh, you're doing great on time. Back and up. Time, 30 second rest. Okay, one more quad exercise as if they weren't burnt out enough. And let's see. Is this side not as hot? I'm just gonna make it work. It's a donkey kick. So I'm gonna plant my hands here. And I'm gonna kick up here. Now, it, it, I can either do single leg or I kick up with one leg like this because we're doing it two times through or double leg. Both legs kick up. If this is not happening, I have my hands here and I can reach, reach one leg back and in, back and in, okay? That's your modification for this exercise. Donkey kicks, let's go. Come on, 60 seconds. Your heart rate's going to increase here. Remember how I said like, do I have to go do cardio? Yeah, your heart rate's gonna get up with this strength training. Isn't it crazy? You get wild sweaty just doing strength training. Come on, breathe easy, be present in the moment. We're grateful for our bodies, what they're able to do, appreciate all they do for you each and every day, fuel them with nutrients, ah, oh, I gotta stretch that out, that allow you to perform your best in your workouts, but also in your day, in your day, with those you love the most. Ah. Always like to think back, if there's a moment where it's a tough emotional moment, it's a challenging parenting moment, if it was the next day and I could repeat that moment, how would I act and do it the first time? How would I act? Okay, I'd breathe easy. Another phrase I like to say for parenting with your kids is you can share your calmness. I can share, I have enough cal a calm to share because they're going through all sorts of emotions. They're learning, they're growing, their brain's developing. I'm having that understanding, ex not expecting more out of them than I expect out of myself. Aha! They'll make mistakes. They're, it's healthy to make mistakes because that's how we learn, that's how we grow, and that's how we improve. Okay, up, down. Come on, up, down. Okay, up, down. Whoo, come on guys. We got this, there's only one more exercise. Come on. Oh, by one more, I meant two more. <laughs> Keep going. Down, kick it up. Come on, come on. Breathe easy. Mm -hmm. Those quads are on fire. Do you have to take a breather with me? Oh my goodness, my quads, who knew? Oh, okay, we're gonna stretch those quads out at the end. Yeah, we are. You guys ready for the last two exercises? Okay, we're gonna stay here in the all four. We're going to fire hydrant on your right. I'm just gonna make sure we're okay here on the camera. Good on time, yeah, we're doing awesome. Okay, fire hydrant on the right. 
Okay, we're gonna go through this next one, just one time on the right. Good. It's 60 seconds on the right. Now you're working that glute, outer thigh. Next round we're gonna do on the left hand side. Okay, whoa. That's it. You got it. Keep going guys. Come on. We're only, you, you should feel heart rate coming down. Control the motion, not only up, but down. Take this a little bit to a straight back, straight back. Good. Burning it out. I know we've already done these this week. You feeling it? Good. Double up that mat when you're on your knees. Great, a great tool to have also is a band, if you include that in the series. Earlier this week for our Pilates workout, we did this with a band. Okay, we're going over the other side, fire hydrant on the left side, and then that 90 degree straight up pulse. And then we're cooling you down. Whoo, cooling you down. And by that I mean we have one more exercise. <laughs> I didn't want to tell you about it. Let's get started with this one. Fire hydrant to the side because we're cruising through to the end. Enjoy the view, enjoy this moment. I want you to think inside. What character traits do you want to show up as? What person do you want to be? Isn't it so important to surround yourself with the people you want to become? Um, I noticed this. My husband and I were giggling because last night we went to dinner and we're like, like you don't realize that you start to say things or do things just like your spouse. The good and bad because it was good feedback for me. He was saying, you know, sometimes or you um, cut people off and finish their sentences for them. And I said, yeah, I do that. And I said, I always thought it was like showing that I was listening really well. And he said, well, it can come across as rude because, because they're not allowed to speak. You're interrupting them. And he said, I noticed I started doing that. And I was like, oh my goodness. I'm always grateful for someone really close to me to offer feedback. And also, I just hope and pray that I can always stay humble enough to really accept that to improve. Because it's so easy to get defensive. Take it straight back, 30 seconds straight back. Isn't it so easy to get defensive, point fingers, because sometimes it's uncomfortable to see something that we can improve in. So it's always my goal to, okay, I can stay humble. I want to embrace this and, and not just swipe it off and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But really try and improve because when those close to you give you feedback, it's because they love you um, a lot of times. And if maybe they do it in a negative way, how can you spin it in a way that maybe there's some truth to that or I could improve on this. Um, you don't have control over how other people speak to you. You don't have control over any of that. We only have control over our thoughts, how we respond, how we speak to ourselves. And we most definitely need to always give ourselves more grace, more forgiveness, more self-love, so we can give that to others as well. Okay, um, let's stretch you out. I was gonna do a bridge pose. Do you guys wanna do it? Okay, we'll do it. I'm just kinda worried that my mat is too hot, but we'll do one round. And bridge pose, <laughs> yeah, it's hot. Up and down, you can hold that dumbbell on your hips as you go up and down. Yeah, up and down, good. Last glute burner and sunshine shiner. Shiny, shiny. Dave's leaving this afternoon, so I had to do my workout before he takes off. <laughs> I wanted to do morning or evening. He claims the mornings for pickleball. So that's why sometimes I'll film our workouts at sunset um, because he normally is playing pickleball in the morning. Okay, keep going. I want you to keep going for 30 seconds. Whew, that sun is bright. Good. Get that vitamin D in your soul. Hope you guys get to go swimming with the family. Enjoy the summer activities. You are done with your leg workout today. No squats. You rocked it, way to go. Let's stretch you out, especially those quads. I'm gonna come on my mat, just to a kneeling position. So his back knee's here. There's like sweat dripping into my eyes. Shift forward, knee behind my toe. If you can, grab that back leg. Quad stretch, good. Hamstring stretch here. That's it. So proud of you for showing up today, 
it's a habit, keep showing up. You'll, you don't regret it, right? Right now, this moment, you don't regret showing up. It becomes so much a part of your day and your routine. Good, switch, other side, lunge forward, quad stretch. On those days that are hard emotionally, I want you to be aware if you're going to the pantry, grabbing the chocolate, I need a cookie. Just instead of shaming yourself or feeling guilty or like, I shouldn't have eaten that. It's okay. And it's okay to maybe you do like go on social media and scroll because you just can't take another second of the day. You know, sometimes we do those things because um, some refer to it as numbing or like avoiding emotions or avoiding kind of current situation. And it's okay, just be aware when you're doing it. Just be aware. We don't have to be perfect and say, I will never emotionally eat. <laughs> Emotions can be a, a, such a positive thing. Wouldn't you rather have the extreme highs and some lows than just always just being moderate in all things? Oh, with emotions. <laughs> be moderate in other things, your nutrition, your fitness. <laughs> you know. Uh, downward dog, hold it here. Good. Walk those hands to your feet. We're going to come all the way up. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale the good. You're strong. You got this. Exhale. Negative thoughts breaking you down, labeling you as something that is not uplifting or helpful. Inhale up. Devoted. Confident. Exhale the other stuff. Okay, way to go guys. Make sure you refuel with some water, especially if you're doing this outside, you're walking outside, sweating more, get some water. And these keep my water cold all day. It's called Reduce, it's on Amazon. They're like the Stanley Cups, but not as expensive. Mm-hmm, so good. Okay, bye guys.